Good afternoon, my name is Brian Idle and I would like to explain the impact of a good credit rating. All my life I've been surrounded with family who are in the credit reporting business. My father Francis Jerome Idle was the president of the Credit Bureau Association of America in his early years of life. I recall going to a massive credit bureau conventions as a young child and particularly the one in San Francisco when I was around the age of five. I truly understand what a good credit rating means because I am a descendant of the Mid-Michigan Credit Bureau that my little brother Scott runs now that my father has passed away and my mother has retired. Today I would like to explain my feelings of how a good credit score impacts my financial future and my goal is for retaining a great credit score during my final years of college. Many people go through life using credit with very little thought. As a father of two children, I tried very hard to instill in them what it means to get a credit card. And one of the most important factors I try to explain to my children is that they should only use credit when it is necessary trying hard to explain to them that credit should only be used when they are able to pay it back within the month's time. And that had been the rule of thumb, mentoring my children. The excitement of receiving a credit card with a large financial limit is extremely tempting for most people. The allure of what can be purchased with a credit extension can be a slippery slope for many in today's society. Too often, young adults will not keep that in mind and go out and charge as much as they can before they even see their first bill. And this can be very alarming as well because oftentimes they will not consider the penalties when not meeting the line of credit agreement that they have so quickly signed. In, my, in many cases, the interest rates are so astronomically high that if they would just take a moment to realize what they have gotten themselves into, they may have never wanted to have the line of credit in the first place. Leaving them in a feeling that that they were too quick to respond to the offer listening and not listening to their father's advice when mentoring them about credit. Needless to say, the penalty for late fees that normally average between $25 and $30. One cannot deny that that's a real blow in one's pocketbook. And my wife also has had this very problem of which I speak. After many discussions on how important it is to pay the bill on time, there are always months in which she may not be able to do that due to financial burdens and unseen for circumstances. Inadvertently, this ref reflects on my credit standing as well, which strikes a nerve ever so often and causes some friction in our lives. There have been times where I've asked for a credit increase on certain lines of credit that I hold currently and I've been turned down because of the report of late payments. My goal now that I'm becoming a, grad, uh, becoming a graduate with a master's degree in science is to regain my credit standing by not co-signing with my wife on future credits or loans. I have found that when I am in control of payments that I refuse to pay late avoiding a poor credit rating. Recently I've received my credit standing and I am within the national average score. Though I do not wish to be an average, I'd rather be better than average score. And I know that I can achieve this by being wiser in the ways I handle my credit. One way of doing this is by working while attending school. And this will give me a chance to start paying on the interest that is accruing while I'm enrolled. I appreciate how FAFSA and studentloans.gov make a student thoroughly read over their agreement by forcibly make them scroll to the bottom of the application before they can move ahead. My goal while beginning my graduate education was to fill out as many scholarship applications than ever before. So far I'm on track and I can only pray that I receive the entire grants of which I have applied for. I know I won't have to borrow so much to get by to finish my education if I do receive those grants. Along with working part-time, I will make it my goal, as well as being a steady payment procedure, 
to the financial institutions who have been so kind to lend me the m money that I've needed to further my education, which has been my saving grace. I know by achieving my graduate degree that I will not fail my obligations to repay all my loans and continue to have a great credit score. Thanks for your time and listening.